Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day today. I have a story for us today. It has a little bit to do with appreciating beauty and excellence like we talked about yesterday was our new positivity project trait this week. Being able to just appreciate and notice the beauty around you and that people around you also have really great skills and really um, great things that they can offer and show you. So today this story is called only One You by Linda Kranz. And my daughter got this for her birthday, or one of her birthdays, I think she was um, turning six, she got it for her birthday. So there's actually a little, a little message written inside of here. We got this from a family friend. So she wrote um, a little message saying happy birthday. But I like this inside page, I'm gonna hold it up for you so you can see some of the neat things. It even says, be open-minded be enthusiastic, it says smile often, enjoy every day, try if you don't try, what does it say after that? Try if you don't try, someday you might wonder what you missed. So this book is really, really neat just about being a good person and seeing all the cool things there is in life. All right, here's what it says. It's about some fish, a family of fish. It's time, Papa said. I think it is, Mama agreed. Time for what? Adri asked. Papa's voice softened. Time to share some wisdom. Wisdom is just things you've learned about life. Wisdom. Always be on the lookout for a new friend. You never know when you could meet a new friend. Look for beauty wherever you are and keep the memory of it with you. So you're always able to find some beauty, just like we've talked about before, even just looking up at the sky and looking at the beautiful clouds. This picture has beautiful ocean. Always just finding beauty wherever you are. Blend in when you need to but stand out when you have the chance. I was thinking about this page when I looked at this story and I think, hmm, when would be a time you might wanna blend in? You might wanna be like everybody else. And then I was thinking to myself, when we're at school, we have a lot of rules that we have to follow in the classroom. And we're really not supposed to be standing out when we're all listening to a teacher teach. We're all supposed to be listening and learning, but when you go and do your work by yourself or you're out on the playground at school, that's a great time to really stand out and be yourself and show everybody what you are all about. So sometimes it's okay to blend in, but then we should stand out when it's a good appropriate time. Find your own way. You don't have to follow the crowd. So if everybody's going this way, it's okay to go a different way. Know when to speak and know when to listen. So sometimes it's a good time to talk and say how you feel and other times it's a good time just to listen. No matter how you look at it, there is so much to discover. There's always something you can learn and find something new. If you make a wrong turn, Circle back. If you make a wrong choice, it's all right. Go back, start over again. If something gets in your way, move around it. I love that. So if you look here, this worm gets in the way. Usually that's how they try to catch a fish, right? And they put the worm at the end for some bait. They're just going around it. Don't let it bother you. Set aside some quiet time to relax and reflect each day. So just taking some quiet time just to relax, wind down. Reflecting is just when you think back about what you did that day and you say, hmm, did I make good choices today? Maybe tomorrow I should do something a little different. Mrs. Chexfield does that a lot. Appreciate art. It's all around you. 
And art doesn't have to be a painting. It can just be see something as simple as um, like anything behind me, like anything on the walls. It could be a picture somebody drew. Something simple. It could be sidewalk chalk somebody did on their driveway. Make wishes on the stars in the nighttime sky. Thank you for listening, Mama said. We hope you will remember. Papa winked and whispered, now we know this is a lot for you to think about. Audrey did a little backward somersault and smiled. He was excited to get out into the world with what he had just learned. Wait for me, he shouted to his friends. But before he swam away, he turned back to his parents and said, I will remember. Mama kissed Audrey on the top of his head. There's only one thing in this great big world. There's only one you in this great big world, she said. I love this last page. Make it a better place. So there's only one you. Make it a better place. I love that. And there he is right there, Andrew. He's right in the middle. So every decision you make, everything you do, you can really, really help this world be a better place. And you yourself can appreciate all the stuff that's around you. I hope you guys had a great day and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.